first swing in nine days. What could possibly go wrong? It's going to be a long day. So about a decade ago, only a handful of tour players actually gamed one of these golf clubs. And now over 25% of tour players have one of these in the bag. So then, any idea what it could be? I'll give you five seconds before we go into montage. could offend a few people with this one but if you'd have asked me as a junior who games a seven would I would have likely said my granddad so why has there been this sudden increase in popularity for a seven wood like a crap TikTok? <coughs> that was not that was not crap really if we put it simply, lofts are getting stronger with fairy woods, they're going further we get so obsessed with hitting it further our drivers are now starting to sweat the fairy woods are catching up. The problem is we're left with this humongous gap from our fairy wood to our long iron slash utility slash hybrid. My bag is a huge gap, a gap that would rival the time difference of Robbo buying a pint. It's a huge gap, all right? I would go as far as saying I feel like we need to recalibrate our minds to tell ourselves that the loft is in fact our friend. Look, it's so cute. <laughs> To a point where if we actually remove loft, the chances are we are going to be wedged more in Brenda's spider plant than ever before. So we're using the Ping G437 wood and I was thinking earlier, I can't remember the last time I actually hit a 7 wood. I've got no idea how far this is actually going to fly. I'd probably predict like 230, 240. Um, obviously you think 7, 7 iron, obviously we know it doesn't work like that, 7 iron is like 200 yards, 190, this is going to be probably 50 past that I would, have ex I would expect. It's a bit out of the heel to start with but look at that height, straight away, 250, right, you're telling me if I could, that was a shocking swing, okay, this is where it comes into its own, am I just standing on a tee, I'm just going to hit a 7 wood, are you alright? And you stand up and whack it 250. Who's laughing now, Jeff? Jeff. But whether you want to admit it or not, a huge percentage of the golf population struggle to get it up in the air. And we know fairy woods, especially off the deck, can be very intimidating, especially the lower lofts. This is like a chipper. I've got so much confidence, in it. I'm actually worried about my nostrils. It might go in my nostril, it's going to launch that high. And that's exactly what a lot of golfers will need. Again, Dad, if you're listening on the couch, seven would mate. You got it. Because honestly, I'm swinging it so bad with the pulls, and there's no other club I'd want in my hand right now. I've got the aircon on, so that's why it's pulling it. That's a bit more like a golf shot, you know. A bit healy though. The only thing that concerns me a little bit with this is, I think there's, there's a chance it could pop. Really roll up that face, pop straight up, and there could be a bit of a difference between your distances, but if, if you can see here, the last four, yeah, we've gone Brenda and then there's Barbara. It's dead straight in terms of um, distance. This is your 240 club. I know that, I can stand on the tee, eyes closed, and hopefully hit a fairway. Pull it. <laughs> I love it over there. 266. Do you reckon it's 300 yards in this? No, Al. I do talk to myself quite a bit, don't I? There's no one else here, in case you're wondering. So welcome everyone to scenario one with the seven wood, the tee shot on a par four. Only a short par four, 379. As you see on the right hand side, I've mapped out 250 yards because we know roughly that's how far we hit this seven wood. 
That brings that bunker on the left hand side into play. I'm going to use that as a target because the seven wood is about precision. I'm going to aim at that and hopefully cut it. <laughs> Let's give it a go. Just work it away from that. Two fifty. But downhill two five nine. My mouse was there, as you can see, and we've hit it there. So this is what I mean about plotting. This is a very good plotting golf club for my tee. Now let's do the same thing, put a second shot into a par five. Okay, scenario two, big fat pass on scenario one. But this is an underrated scenario for me with a seven wood. Not something you tend to think about, an approach shot with a wood. Many people do, especially with three wood, you've got lower loft. It's, if you're going for a big smack, you know, your chances are it's gonna be left or right. You get that one dream shot, but a seven wood, it's going to be very stable, so there's no reason why, especially the descent you're coming in, of stopping this on the green. If you didn't pull it, you would. <laughs> Rubbish! It's alright though, you see. Second into a par five. Chip, 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 put, 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 put. Triple bogey. Done the exact same thing. Loves a pull, this bloke. <laughs> Here we go. Right. This should, I think, stop relatively quickly. If it didn't hit the fringe. Take it. That's right next to the pin. Tendered. <laughs> I just want to see how this reacts now. Still at the fringe, didn't it? That's lovely though. The point is, we're spinning this at five and a half thousand RPM. It's a lot for a wood, but that's exactly what you need and exactly what this thing is designed to do. So this is scenario three. There are many more uses for a seven wood, but these are my top three. And no, it's not opening a beer, even though you could probably do that as well, but it's not covered under warranty, FYI. I did mention earlier that looking down at the ball, it feels like a chipper. Play it as one then. So you just roll it in, roll it in. Leave yourself 15 foot putt for par. Can't get it there, can we? Look, you know what I mean. Third use, open, open your bit, open, chip, chip. Good for chipping. Even the big boys on tour are considering the seven wood purely because of its versatility, its spin. It's, look, everything else is failing me off the tee. Get your seven wood out. Got a chance into a par five. Get your seven wood out. That's why Dustin's considered it. Got it in, out, you know, shake it all about. But, it's very, very interesting. I'm going to do a gap video with you guys because my top end of the bag is an absolute mess. You'll know if you know my bag well. I've got a three wood that everyone asks me what I'm gaming. <laughs> it's a really ro rockety F9 that I just don't play. It's actually out of the bag. So I've got driver to two iron, which is a huge gap. And I've got a huge gap from two iron to four iron, which I think could, a seven wood could fit in there. So find those gaps at the top end. Um, Two iron still for me is a bit unforgiving, so this is where the seven wood would come in. Look, I'm hitting my two iron, not great. Let's really dial it back and hit that seven wood. So it's definitely there. It's definitely got potential to go in the bag, but a, a bit more testing to be done. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Again, let me know if you've ever considered a seven wood, if you've got one in the bag, how's it going for you? And uh, whether if you didn't, you're now considering trying it, because you should. There's, 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 there's no specific golfer that this fits anymore. It's not just, if you, if you struggle to get up in the air, it's not just for you. It is for you, but not just you. You know what I mean? Good. <laughs> Guys, thank you as always for watching. If you're not a part of Team Al, please hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. Follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and I'm live streaming on Twitch with PGA Tour 2K23.